Hello and welcome back to the second part of the Getting Started with Vue.js course. In this part we are going to go over how you render parts of the template based on values in your data array. Here you can see the code we are going to work with in this part of the course. Up here we are linking to a CSS framework called Bulma to make it easier to make our demo look good. Down here we are having the same app as we added in the last part and here is the view instance which referenced the app and the data array with a name and a description. The name is printed here and the description here as you can see. Sometimes we want to render only a part of the template based on a value in the data array. So if we add one more property here called show description and set it to false up here we use something called a directive, for example, v if show description. If you save that now and refresh, you will see that description is no longer showing and it's not rendered by view either. But if we test with another one, let's say we show and refresh, it's not showing, but as you can see here, it's rendered, but it's set to display none. So if you have a part of the template you are going to show and hide multiple times, it's very good to use the vshow because then it's not removed from the DOM. So if you set this back to the if, view also has a directive called vls. So if you add one more div class, So if the description does not show, we will render this instead. So if I save and refresh, you will see that this will be rendered instead. View also has a directive called vlsif. To test it, we can add the integer here called counter, set it to 10. To test it, we can add one more paragraph here, say we if counter is larger than 20 larger than 20 p we else if counter is over 5 is over 5 so if the counter is larger than 20 this will be showing if the counter is larger than 5 this will be showing Lower than that, this will be showing. So if I save now and refresh, it will say this is over 5 because it's not over 20, but it will hit there. If I go to the console just to test, I can say app.counter equals 25. Hit enter and it will automatically update and go up to here and show that one. And that's it for this part. I hope you enjoyed it and we will come back for part 3.